In yesterday's video, I said that the Draco Slayers are the best pendulum support in the history of pendulum support of mankind, of Yu-Gi-Oh kind, of all time. And I was right. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys the new updated Draco Slayer combo tutorial and deck profile. So if you guys are excited for this, I want you guys to smash the subscribe button right now. And I also want you guys to go check out the Patreon right now. The next seven days, the next seven days on Patreon, I'm putting Draco Slayer content. Literally, Draco Slayer combos, Draco Slayer deck profiles, different styles to play the deck, ABC Draco Slayer that searches hanger, like the Libro Master Dra like Draco Slayer, it's insane. This deck, you could throw anything in there. It's just absurd. Any deck that relies on a field spell, this deck instantly will make them amazing. This deck's insane. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. This deck's absolutely wild. Let's go. The biggest reason why this deck is so insane is that it's the first time in Pendulum history that the deck was designed to play with hand traps. It was literally designed. Like you literally just throw every single way to search your Draco Slayers. Draco Slayers are, are, are the whole point of the deck. And for the first time in history, this deck is designed to be a mid-range pendulum deck that plays 13 hand traps. So if you guys look at my hand over here, I have literally three defensive cards, okay? I have three defensive cards. I have the Secret Village that you search. I have Ash and Valor. Literally, like, like all defensive cards. I only have two cards that are combo pieces. How can I play? How can I play with two cards? Well, this is the beauty that Konami... I don't know why Konami did this. Konami literally made a mistake. They made this the best deck on the planet. We're gonna go Bambuku to search Majesty Pegasus, and this is all the whole combo tutorial. Two card combo, doesn't matter what you have, and don't even get me started on what happens if Kieran comes back and all that. So we're gonna use this. So the, the cool play over there, you guys caught that, is uh, we're gonna use the effect of Majesty Pegasus to add to this to special the dynamite. This will now get us beyond the pendulum. Beyond the pendulum, we'll switch to Luster Pendulum. We're not gonna pendulum. So this is just a basic combo. You know, it can be done in so many different ways. Uh, this is just a two card combo two cards we're already plus three right now we're gonna use ignis right here to special this we're gonna go this into magister paladin uh at no point did i actually use the effect of dynamite to trigger uh this uh so here we're gonna use the effect here to special we're gonna special out this we're going to use this effect to add the uh, field spell to discard uh i cannot use magister paladin so this is dynamite pretend this is dynamite it's literally the exact same result it's the exact same result we're gonna use this effect to special it's literally the exact same result, guys. It's the exact same result, and you could have done it in a way for the same thing. Just make sure Magister, Magister Paladin cannot be XYZ. This is just an example of the combo. Then you're going to just keep special summoning themselves, and then you're going to go into Selene. You're going to Secret Village, and now you're going to think to yourself, but yeah, but Triff, this is like... This is just this is just three three negates, Triff. Well, what are you doing? It's only three negates, and uh, they're just going to enter the battle phase. Well, it's not three negates. It's why the mid-range combo deck and what we'll use Draco Future for are double Magister Paladins here. Okay, you're going to add two Pendulums to the end phase. So what are they going to add to the end phase? They're going to add uh, one follow-up. You know, they're going to add one follow-up. So you're going to add Magister Bambuku, which is insane because it searches Majesty Pegasus or a high scale. So it's like a joker for this deck. Uh, another card that you're going to add because you get to add two pendulums at the end phase. This is where, where it makes the deck insane. You add Mythical Beast Garuda. So because you have four spell counters on Selene and you purposely do not use the effect, on your opponent's turn when they normal summon any monster, let's say they normal summon a spellcaster, like an enchantress, their only possible way to play spells, use the effect of Selene to special Garuda and that'll bounce it back to their hand and they can no longer play spells. The only cards they can activate after that are monster effects, which are going to get destroyed by our monsters and our ash blossoms. So any deck that plays spells is just obliterates. And if you know you're playing a deck that does not lose to the spells, then you're going to go into more monster heavy negates and it's just a uh, this all done on two cards now imagine you actually had five combo pieces to play with this is just your typical two card combo in this deck where everything such as draco slayers and everything gets to this combo so it's just a very base combo of this deck and if you guys want to see more cool versions of this go check out the patreon like i said earlier i know someone is going to mention it you kind of xyz with the card that comes up but you literally can just go dinosaur anyways it's the exact same fucking result exact same way exact same play same thing so we're gonna go on to the deck profile now this is the deck profile we play 13, 14 defensive cards the mystic mind is searchable via majesty pegasus i'm going to explain everything in depth right here right now so you guys can actually understand how this all works so ignis is searchable by seven cards this is insane because this is the best card of the deck ignis uh, with luster pendulum with majesty pegasus it's actually searchable by 10 because of pot of prosperity so this card is searchable by 10 different ways then you got Majesty Pegasus, which is searchable by nine different ways. 
so you got three magic i guess you got three bambuku and three prosperity so you have your main two card com your main two card combo is one ignis and one majesty pegasus but just one ignis and one pegasus uh lead to the full board you guys just saw and you have 10 ways to one and nine ways to the other next we have nine ways to the dynamite which this is also a very powerful card prosperity will search it this will search it and dynamis charge will search it and when dynamis charge gets this you also get a free plus one via dynamis charges effect absolutely amazing and then luster pendulum also synergizes incredibly well with this deck because dynamite will build a special the, the luster pendulum uh it'll be able to add extra copies of majesty pegasus it'll be able to trigger ignis so luster pendulum becomes really good in this deck as well and you need more draco slayer names the only draco slayer names that are good are these 12 and now here it comes i know what you're thinking you're gonna think trip where is draco face off bro where's draco face off where's your... in my stream alone i got asked for i think what, what was our counter our counter was like in the first one hour of the stream we had maybe 20 people mentioned play draco face off i'm gonna make a whole video on why draco face off is literal doo-doo please do not play draco face off it's at one you are literally playing celtic guardian and it is useless it is garbage uh for majesty pegasus his name is magic spec it's this card is always treated as a magic specter card which is why it's amazing to search bambuku same with dynamite to search a dynamis charge then you play one of the dragonic pendulum to search and, and trigger all your cards and search the good draco slayers and one mystic mind to search gamma is, is a incredible incredible in this deck because there's so many situations to get hand trapped at uh there's so many scenarios to get hand trapped by ignis so many uh, uh, times to get hand trapped with pegasus with dynamite with luster pendulum with all your spells so many times to trigger gamma and it works out very well this is a, a, a it's like playing it's like a tri brigade on crack deck where going first your opponent is not playing through your board and going second you have so many hand traps you're just sliding into 18 hand traps because the two card combo deck uh this is the extra deck we got beyond the pendulum needle fiber you, needle fiber doesn't come up a lot it's just scenarios where you could go needle fiber selene access uh you got ignis so you got double dynamite you got double magister for the draco future play one galaxy has photon to play around nibiru at times one baguska one zeus uh the combo i showed you did not play around nib but it's very easy to play around nib in this deck extremely easy uh i just showed you a situation not to i'll be showing how to play around nib a lot on future videos as well as on patreon there are thousands of different ways to play this deck you could play the th one theory on field spell and one uh theory on regulus because you search the disclosure uh this coliseum and you'll be putting dynamite in the graveyard by a multitude of different ways summoning the regulus there are plenty of ways to play this deck and it is beautiful uh please though please do not play draco face off in a future video i'll explain why uh it is literal doo-doo maybe when it comes back to three and as you guys saw the combo we side into one secret village and one garuda and make it so all my opponent's side spells are just dead they can't dark ruler they can't droplets they can't do anything they literally just are are auto cooked they're cooked they're cooked gg all right guys so that is the deck profile and the base combo if you guys want to check out more combos of this deck check out the subscribe to the channel and check out the patreon we're literally gonna do a fuck ton of these i'm super excited to do it my first version is with hand traps because i really think this like look all these first 24 cards you witness are all starters so you're playing 24 starters in a two card combo deck you see any two of them and they synergize amazing and when gamma puts a monster it puts itself on the field to negate your opponent's cards it's a free card for beyond the pendulum so you never actually brick it's a defensive and same with nibiru you always have a card you always have beyond the pendulum uh i opted not to play cards like harmonizing or joker or sorcerer or astrograph or uh, other stuff because they do get in the way all i want to see is just draco slayer cards draco slayers are the only cards i want to see in this deck that's it it's a draco slayer deck and all the first 25 25 cards all search draco slayers is just a draco slayer deck um buko says a draco slayer dynamis charge says draco slayer it's a draco slayer deck when you open three draco slayers you have full combo when you open two draco slayers that are like you have full combo so every other card in the deck i just want defensive cards this is the first time in history that we have a hand trap pendulum deck and this also has the capability to be a combo pendulum deck which i will show in the future so uh tomorrow i'll be posting a combo version of this deck but this is the best control based version already check, check it out for yourselves try it out i think it's amazing tomorrow i'm gonna be showing you guys a combo version utilizing scythe which ends on a bunch of negates i'll be posting this replay on patreon right now so go check out the patreon if you guys want to see the end replay this is the end board of the deck shout out to akala player who sent me this replay uh the biggest issue i find with this deck is that uh scythe is boring that's that's about the only issue it ends on quadruple negate and scythe because the scythe and tg wonder will end on bearing the floor so it ends on quadruple negate and scythe and it's just the exact it's literally two card combo two card combo same two card combo that's there's a two card combo deck bambuku rota boom or even Peg uh, pegasus rota boom it's all the same thing it's a two card combo deck that's what makes it absurd 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.